welcome to another episode of PGH Spot. I'm your host, Mike Lynn. What does a former Pittsburgh Steeler, at-risk youth, and cupcakes have in common? Well, I was confused at first, but now I think I figured it out. We're at Cakery Square. Tell me a little bit about your background and how all of this got started. All right, so Cakery Square uh, developed from me starting an education company. So what I did was in an education company called The Pursuit, I uh, brought in former pro athletes to come and facilitate a curriculum that I wrote in the different school districts in the area. And then birth Cakery Square where I wanted to open up a business that was gonna be in the heart of the community. So we work with schools around the waterfront. So I wanted to make sure that I showed them a business man and owner in their community that they could relate to and connect with. So that's the birth of Cakery Square. And then I hired the kids from the program. Cakery Square, it's staffed by who? Our students and they're here to make a difference. Whenever we're looking to open up Cakery Square, I wanted to make the kids a huge part of it. I wanted that to be the centerpiece of who we are. That separates us from any bakery. The kids, they run this thing and, and they do an amazing job too. So we're in the heart of Homestead. We're uh, right down here on the waterfront. Tell me about you growing up. I'm assuming that you have some tie to this area. So I grew up in North Braddock and uh, I live between here and the other side of town in that Elliott area. At a young age, I knew a lot of Pittsburgh and a lot of people around the area. I would come down here for birthday parties in the waterfront to Dave and Buster's and play some of the same games that are still there. And then uh, it's official and pretty cool to have a space right uh, across the street from Dave and Buster's and right in the heart of waterfront where I traveled so many times as a youth. So you went to Whitland Hills High School and you played football so please talk about that and how football transitioned you to some great places. Going to Woodland Hills was great. Uh, playing football they have one of the top programs in the country so I played for about 20 years yeah. and uh, it has impacted everything that I do. When so, you say play, play for? I play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, that's <laughs> what we were waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> The thing about football is it was a platform for me to do other things. It opened up doors for me with education company. It opened up doors for me with uh, the bakery. And, and one of the first things any article comes out with is like former Steeler, a former NFL athlete, mm -hmm. or something of that nature where uh, it gets people's attention. Anybody come and talk to the kids, but then when you give them your background, it's like, okay, Pittsburgh Steeler. Now being a business owner gives more credibility to continue to inspire these kids. So Mondell, how long have you worked at Cakery Square? Um, I've been working here since we opened. Yeah. Back in July. Did you ever think that you would be a baker? Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I, I think it's pretty fantastic. It looks like you do really great work. Yeah. It has been amazing. Working with these kids is truly inspiring. Um, my background is in marketing, so I've worked in corporate America, and I just decided to take a jump. I didn't know these kids before I started, but I definitely treat them like they are my family. I'm very protective over them, and I want them to grow and be successful individuals. I couldn't be any happier. Are you also encouraging being an entrepreneur? Challenge the kids to do what they love. That's why I do different things than just being an athlete, because I don't want to just inspire people to be athletes. I want them to see me as a business owner. I want them to see me as an author as well. So just to give them that inspiration. We have football guys, big football guys that never thought they'll be in here baking or doing anything of, of the sort. I would love to see that. Yeah, and, and that's what they do. It's you too. Like imagine you in an apron and a chef hat making pastries is, you know, something that when I first met you, I just, it just didn't cross my mind. Yeah, but. So, so look, I, I mean, I don't know how much baking I'm doing here. Yeah. I, I'll assist. I'll help out a little bit, but. Okay, so if there's a teenager sitting at home right now, um, watching this on their phone, you know, they have some problems at home, they might not be making their grades in school, or they're doing okay, they're not just really sure what direction they want to go yeah. in life, what would you say to them? I would say uh, whatever challenge you're going through, let that be your motivation. Uh, it, I, I've had students that 
actually sleep on the floor and never had a bed in their life. That's their motivation. That needs to make you wake up every day and just say, you know what, I'm going to do better and, and I want better for myself and for my future family. So I just encourage you to use those challenges and whatever that may be uh, to motivate you and to push you forward. So you know what I feel inspired to do? Eat some cake. Yes. <laughs> But also, I, I think this is fantastic, um, what you're doing, so just keep it Thank up. You.